time of the night, five in the bend. We're looking forward to it. And let me introduce the panel. We've got Gerds over here to my yeah. left. Yeah, Ryan Gerds. Great to have him on the show. Wally Lewis. Yeah. Great to have him here, even though he's a Queenslander. <laughs> Joey Johns. Yeah. Good New South Welsh runner. Another Queensland, Fatty Vorton on my yeah. right. Yeah. And the big man in the cave. Yeah. Guess where he's from? Hi, mate. <laughs> Great to be here. All right, five minutes on the clock. No surprise, we're going to talk about origin. This is history in the making for New South Wales, if they can win, and history in the making if Queensland win. But first up, Gerds, I want to talk about this eligibility to play for New South Wales or Queensland. I know you've got some pretty strong thoughts on that. Yeah, look, it's obviously a grey area in the game at the moment, and um, it's all about state of origin. So I believe origin is where it began for you as a kid, growing up, sort of representing your family, your friends, I mean, your school your local junior club, and I mean, you see the guys at the start of the Origin game, they stand there and they say, you know, Brett Stewart, West Wollongong. You know, we don't want to have guys sitting up there saying Auckland North or mm. whatever. So I believe that, you know, it's, it's not a badge of honour, Origin. It's about representing, you know, your state, and that's why it's such a, a tribal game too, because it doesn't just come about being selected in a side. It comes about growing up as a kid, really learning to hate Queensland and doing all that like they do us, yeah. and then playing with that passion when you get to pull on the jumper. Yeah, it, it is that passion, Joe, isn't it? It's all about passion. You don't want to lose that. It's not another game. Well, it is, and, and really, the, the players who are playing now, yeah, they're just the gatekeepers for the players in the future. And um, I know when I, I was playing, it was, it was a huge honour to follow in the great halfbacks who, who I watched go before me. And I, look, I think at the moment... We need some really strong leadership on this. I think mm. a line needs to be drawn in the sand and we need to sort it out and that's where the in independent commissioner can really come in and mm. make some really strong leadership. Mm. Yeah, well, it's right. got to happen soon, Joey, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, well, it must be hard for the, for the Kiwis who are playing Then you can't blame them. You fact, can't blame them. They want to play Origins. the best football you can and, you play know, in the world. People are going to say the 50,000, but it's not only 50,000, it's a spectacle, the, the exactly. opportunity to play. Yeah. With the, when they're the best standing spectacle there in a blue jumper or a maroon jumper, who are they representing? Mm. You know what I mean? They're yeah. not Queens, they're not New South Wales, but mm. who are they representing? Mm. Mm. Well, I can't they're basically representing their bank balance. That's yeah, what they're after. Right. And it, to, to get to the top game in rugby league, though, that's, uh, that's the obvious attraction. Mm. Um, I'm a bit different when Fatty and I were, were sort of coming into um, representative football, the stage was, it was almost regarded as an embarrassment to play for Queensland. Um, when we used to score up there, um, there'd be uh, you know, clapping all around the ground, the cheering that was going on, it was, it was quite extraordinary mm. um, to have that opportunity. Now that they've become a state that's uh, pretty much uh, even with New South Wales, I think that promises the future of rugby league. Mm. To throw in the international flavour though, I think that's, uh, that's a little bit dodgy. Yeah, well said and let's hope they make a decision soon. Let's talk about the game. Queensland, they went in with 20 in the squad. I don't think we've seen that for a long, long time. We've seen the decision that Billy Slater's not fit, so Inglis goes into number one. There's uh, some shuffling. Are you nervous about that? Is that going to derail them at all or, or make them have a structure that mightn't work? Uh, you feel uncomfortable when you get a bloke that's um, won the, the world's best player. Uh, mm. award. Um, to take him out of the side certainly is going to be uh, a little bit of a, a challenge but it probably offers uh, coach Mal Meninga uh, a real chance now to entice the players to prove that they weren't a one-man team. Mm. Um, they've proven that in the past uh, when Darren Lockie didn't play the series everyone expected New South Wales were going to comfortably win that game. That mm. wasn't the case. Uh, mm. they, Queensland took the series so it is a real challenge for them. Um, if they've got one uh, bonus on their side despite having him unavailable for the game the match is being played at Suncorp Stadium. Mm. Fatty, on the radio this morning, you said you were nervous? No, I'm not really. Here's the thing about Queensland. They, he always goes. They, they, so far, they, got, they won by four and they got beaten by four. They've played at about 70% of their potential. They've made a lot of uncharacteristic handling mistakes and some kicking games haven't been the best. I think if they get anywhere near their top, then they will win. Mm. Simple as that. Uh, big man, Dave Taylor, is he going to yep. play? Well, Slats, I hope he does. I hope he's on the bench. I, look, I, I know he had a poor game in, in game two, and the, the mail is he wants well, not going to make the squad. I'll be amazed by that. I just think Dave Taylor deserves the chance in game three. I mean, Tony Williams is there for New South Wales, and Dave Taylor's a very similar player in a lot of ways to Tony Williams. I think he can make a massive impact. impact and I'm hoping Dave Taylor is on, is on the bench for Queensland. I think he can... You know, I think he's going to want to be there based on what he did in game two. He'll be very upset with how he played. I think he could be a real winner for Queensland. I mm. hope they pick him. Mm. Let's look at New South Wales now. I think they're still hurting from last year's loss. Uh, who are the key players, do you reckon, Goods? Look, I, you know, unfortunately, Glenn Stewart looks like he won't play. I mean, you can't tear your medial and then play in, in three mm. weeks. So I think, um, you know, him and Brett Stewart have been key personnel in, in the team this year, just the way the dynamic works. They're professional. They get the job done. So 
Uh, unfortunately, we're going to lose him. Um, T Rex is going to be fantastic off the bench. I mean, anyone that saw him play last amazing. weekend, he was amazing. And I think the leg speed and the energy that Watmau and Lewis and he'll bring in the back end of those first halves, I think that's where we really controlled the second game. And I think that's where we'll win the third game. Joey, you were in there the other day. What was the feeling like? They were really confident. It's um, In the past, I think they've had the attitude of we're going to go out and we'll compete with them. I generally think that they're going to win the game. They're a really relaxed lot. Um, I think they feel like the, the tide's finally turning and this team has been together for a while now, the combination. So, you know, I, I think they're, they're in for a massive hope. Mm. All right, well, that's the five minutes. Who's going to win? A great thing happened for Queensland, by the way. Greg Bird came out and said, New South Wales, we want it more. Mm. Not going to help them. Mm, I, just think they want to, I just think they want it a bit differently. I think that if you've lost six series in a row, you know, you're hungry. They got scarred last year. Mm. And, you know, if you've had successful <clears throat> series of six wins, maybe you just forget a little bit what it's like to lose one. I just think it's a different desperation that New South Wales have. And they've showed that in the first couple of games. And the media can get it wrong a little bit. But, you know, I think they're going to go out there and give it everything. Yeah. yeah. All right. There we go. Five minutes in the 